Hi, in this video, I will show you how to even out the skin tone in raw photos with Retouch For Me Skin Tone Plugin using batch processing. I will need Lightroom to develop raw photos, Photoshop to create an action, and Adobe Bridge to run my action and automatically load the developed images. I have a series of photos loaded in Lightroom. They were taken during winter. Thanks to Oleg Romanov for the photos. Here, the difference between the color of the face and hands is clearly noticeable. The redness of the hands during winter is common. Of course, this can be left as it is if you want. For example, horror-style photos. If not, you have to fix it manually. There are a lot of photos, so it's better to use batch processing. So, I'm opening Photoshop, creating a blank document here to record an action. I'm opening Action Panel, selecting my folder with Retouch For Me Actions. I'm going to create an action here called Retouch For Me Skin Tone. And I'm going to Filters menu and I launch Retouch For Me Skin Tone plugin. I'm going to leave all the settings as they are by default. I click Apply and the recording of my action is completed. As you can see, the action turned out to be extremely simple. Now I go to Adobe Bridge. I'm selecting the folder with my photos here and you can see that they are different from what I already did in Lightroom. To fix this, I'm going to Lightroom, selecting all the photos, right-clicking and choosing Save Metadata to Files. Adobe Bridge is updating the previews of photos on the fly, which now displays the rating, editing and cropping. I'm selecting all these photos, choosing from the menu Tools, Photoshop, Image Processor. Now, you can configure the batch processing parameters. I will save the photo in the same folder. The image format will be JPEG. Don't forget to choose your action here down below. OK, let's run it. My raw photos will be sequentially developed, loaded into Photoshop, Retouch For Me Skin Tone plugin will be applied to them, and then they will be saved in JPEG format. As for me, I will go and drink some tea. My batch processing is complete. For ease of comparison, I've loaded the developed photos from Lightroom into Photoshop. And on top of them, as a separate layer, I've loaded the retouched images from Retouch For Me Skin Tone plugin. And believe me or not, it took me many times longer than for the plugin to retouch them. In the photo before, the face and hands are different in color. Compare with the after version. The skin tone on the face has become smoother and slightly warmer. The color of the hand turned from purple to its natural skin tone. The whole photo looks way better than before. In the next photo, the skin color has also been evened out. Pay attention to the hand. In the next photo, the skin has become warmer and smoother. Before and after. This photo clearly shows how the color of the hands differs from the color of the face. Compare with the after version. The skin tone became even. In the next photo, the left hand has changed very slightly because the neural network has not identified an object for retouching. It can be edited manually. This area is quite small compared to all photographs, so it doesn't take much time. I left the next photo on purpose, it is very revealing. There is not only redness on the hand, but also a white stripe on the fingers, because the girl has kept her hand in her pocket in previous shots. Compare it with the resulting image of Retouch For Me Skin Tone plugin. The skin tone was evened out. Yes, there is a small strip noticeable, but it has to do with the brightness of the skin and not with its hue. The last photographs were taken in an unheated room. The skin tone here is pretty even, but the plugin has evened it out even more. One more shot. Compare before and after. Pay attention to how much the color of the girl's hand differs from her face. And here is the result of Retouch For Me Skin Tone plugin. If you like to photograph people in winter or you making winter catalogs, you have to spend a lot of time to eliminate that redness from the skin of your models. Retouch For Me Skin Tone plugin can do it automatically. Compare before and after.
The color was evened out on the face as well. This is how Retouch For Me Skin Tone Plugin works. That's all. I hope you found this video helpful. Now you know how to batch process raw files with Retouch For Me plugins. Just imagine how much time you can save on such retouching since everything happens automatically. You can test the plugin for yourself. Just go to retouch4.me website and download demo versions. See how they work with your photos. I think you will be pleasantly surprised. Bye everyone.